Right guys, hope you're all well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I finished this wall with a double strike pointed finish, or bird's beak, it's, it's probably known as. Right, let's get stuck in. First of all, it's really important that you have got full joints. It'll make your life a lot easier. But if you've not, which happens to us all, just fill them in if you need be. We're gonna do our perp joints first. See, that's not full, quite full there, so I'll, I'll fill that in. There we go. So, I actually come across this pointing technique by accident really I just tried something new and I didn't even know it was an actual thing so there you go apparently it's called bird's beak or double strike I've heard so basically we're using we're using the tip of our trowel mostly it's gonna we've got more control over the tip of our trowel we're not using the mid portion or the back portion of the trowel at all so it's all with the tip and then we're just striking the left side all right and then we're twisting it it's like a mirror we're mirror affecting the, the pointer Whatever you do on the left side, and we want the line in the middle. So you just keep going over it like that. It's quite, a, you have to be patient to do this. <laughs> but yeah, you're just bringing out the sides of each brick. It's a bit like recess, but, but not, but pointing it. All the perps first. Really gentle and loose. You want it nice and loose, your pointer. And once you've done all your perps, then you can move on to your bed joints, but we'll just carry on as we are. Nice and loose, with a, right on the tip of the, the trowel, the pointing trowel. Just bringing those sides out. There we go. Just keep continuing on. So this, like that, yeah, that angle, and then just mirroring that angle. And just keep going over it a little bit. And take a bit of practice. But you'll, you'll get it. Okay, make sure you, you're going to the edges. You might have to fill it in again. And then it should just clean itself up as you keep going over it. All the perps are nearly done. You can do it with a, a finger pointer or a, a tuck, tuck treble, I think they're called. You can do it with a finger pointer, but I like to do it with, with a pointed treble. Just bringing those edges of the brick out. We're just doing the top first. And we're just right, getting that toe in. We're not actually doing a weather struck finish because we want some on the bottom there. So just getting that toe in, bringing the edge of the brick out, the bottom edge of the brick. Just want the toe in there like that. And then we're just reversing. It's quite difficult this, but just gotta have a steady hand. And then just bringing that rest of that mortar off with the, uh, just scraping the excess off with the tip again. And it's just a bit of a patience game really. So there, that's one done. Again, we're just in there with the top. It's a bit more difficult with bricks like this, really rough bricks, but it doesn't really matter, does it? So again, in there. Yeah. There we go, get in there now. I might have to speed this up for you. Right, so that's that side done. I continue on. Just gently getting that tip of the trowel in the top. And coming from this side is a bit more difficult. You're just getting that tip in the, just keeping the eye line, scraping off any excess.
There we are, looking great at that. Now there's no brushing involved at all with that. Not, not what I do anyway, because you don't want any brush marks in that. It's neat enough, that's the finish, it's all sealed. And yeah, it looks really nice that. So it's, that's how you do bird's beak or double strike pointing. It's a real nice effect and it's good for like garden features and I like to use it loads. Really brings out the character of the bricks and it looks really neat as well, if you, done, if you do it right. I'm not saying that's right, but I think it looks pretty neat that. And I always remember what my college tutor said, Barry. He said, good pointing can make a bad job look good or bad brick would look good. And bad pointing can make good brick would look bad. So, and that is so true. So just take your time with any type of pointing or jointing. I've got loads more videos coming like this. I'll do jointing and weather struck pointing and we'll do one on recess pointing as well. All right guys, but that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.